Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. The Iron Lady movie thoughts. The one effective dramatic moment I found in this film was when she finally accepted the death of Dennis. You know, and, you know, sort of still had a little trouble with it, but that she did, you know, that, that moment actually somewhat worked. You know, there were other attempts at strong moments. I didn't feel that... I didn't feel very strongly one way or the other to be very neutral. You never know where you have us darn neutrals. I didn't feel very strongly one way or the other about her resignation. You know, that scene, it, it was nicely enough shot, but it just had no impact on me. And I feel bad about saying the following, but I honestly, because, you know, it was a real person, but I did not feel something when the car blew up. Airy, was that the name? Some Something like that. I am terrible with names, I apologize, but I, I know I should have, and I wish I had, but I hadn't, I, I didn't feel a connection to this character, and that is yet another of the film's failings. But yes, the, the scene of her giving in, and, you know, structurally it fits that this follows her, you know, resignation and sort of she's just been reminiscing about that and we are at the point in the movie where we've just seen her resign you know even though it happened you know years ago decades ago I guess in the actual chronological where we are at the point in her life it it fits that he is then you know, that she then resigns herself to that, that he is actually dead. You know, after trying to, you know, she tries to block him out, but she's not letting him go, you know. But, yeah, that was, frankly, one of the only... I, I can't currently... I The whole walk back from the theater, much of the time, you know, the whole walk back, I was... The, thinking about the good and the bad of the movie, Mo much of that time I spent just, I dedicated to trying to think of dramatic moments in the film that worked. And her letting go of her husband was the one I could, I, and still is. I, maybe there are others. Maybe, you know, feel free to post suggestions and I will let you know if those, but as it is now, I cannot remember. There were a couple of things that seemed funny, and I'm not sure should have been her practicing her voice, you know, with getting better and better at saying Dennis authoritatively, and then at the very end he like gets up and she's like, "Oh no, I'm sorry, I wasn't actually calling you." Was that supposed to be funny? Should it have been played as a funny? I don't know. You know, it's not a big serious moment, no, but it did feel like. I would have rather seen that time and that effort spent on her policies or something. I would have liked to know why she was so nationalistic. I can understand you know, Britain's history and losing colonies. I can understand wanting to keep the Falklands, but her personally, I don't know exactly why she personally you know, was so, you know, gung-ho, and I would like to, I would really have liked for the film to help me reach that conclusion. I thought the sort of, you know, when, when you see, the first time you see the old Dennis, you know, very early in his first appearance, you see him leaving the house and he does the silly walk. My girlfriend pointed out it's the Charlie Chaplin walk. And 
then when you see him as a young man, you see him do that walk again, and it sort of cements, yes, this really is Dennis. I don't think you had actually heard his name said by then. That isn't a bad device. I just wish they hadn't done it in such a silly manner. I, I don't know. There's just something about... We've just realized that this man is dead. You know. <laughs> spoiler alert. <sighs> do we really need to see him do something silly like that? And then that's kind of... Yeah. <sighs> the... I would have liked a stronger sort of indication that she was not very much there for her family. There's like two lines, and again, lines, you know, we don't, we don't see her do much, I, I don't know, just something about, you know, she misses a graduation or something, you know, that, that is terribly cliché, you know, you can probably come up with something better. Go ahead and do so. You know, impress the movie makers with that. It was not properly established. There's the bit where she drives away from the children, which honestly also just felt... I don't know. It, maybe it's just me, but when I see a kid whining, I don't necessarily think that they're right to whine. You know, kids whine. It's, it's kind of one of the three things they do, you know. Wine eaten crap. I, I think those are about the the you know requirements to be met to be you know, to, to qualify as a, as a child or a Republican. Basically, you know, yeah, I would have liked a stronger indication of that. You know, we we have Dennis saying you know to heck with you know, me and the children, and we have the daughter saying, oh yeah, it's always about you, mom, you know, when she was about to go for her driving test. Which also just seems weird to me, because they were just sitting there talking about the driving test, and then she, I don't know, maybe that is an indication, maybe that is to show that's how absent-minded she is. I, yeah, I, I suppose that works decently, but again, just a little bit more of it. The stuff with Parliament wasn't bad. I like that they actually did put a little effort into, you know, introducing that and the whole... and the little bit with, you know, how sexist they were with the first woman there and, you know, the... the you know, she's not allowed into the regular members and then it's just lady members and then right inside the door there's, you know, what's it called? An ironing kit, I guess. That wasn't bad, but, you know, again, it, I don't know, it, it didn't evoke much of a response from me, and it really seems like it should have. Yeah, you know, it's not like this is stuff I don't care about, it's exactly the opposite. Yeah, and, and just the film felt a bit confused about if we were supposed to be on her side or not, and why, you know, excuse me, I... I would have liked a very objective, excuse me, look at just her policies, the policies, excuse me, the policies of the opposition, and why they chose those, or at least why she chose her policies, maybe like the, the arguments and counter-arguments, kind of just make us think, let, or let us think, you know, let us, you know, don't, don't just montage your way through major historical events, you know, I, I, I am confused by that editorial choice, by that storytelling choice to just, you know, go through these, yeah. I suppose that is more or less it. The very ending the very last shot with, or the, those last few shots, the, the ending sequence with her washing the, the teacup and, you know, going away, I guess that's a callback to, you know, her talking about how she didn't want to die washing up a, a teacup, 
something like that. You know, when, as I understand that line, she's saying that she wants to make sure that when she dies, she did something important with her life. I don't know, is it supposed to have an ambiguous note to it that, you know, did she really accomplish something? She, she did do stuff. The question is if it was good or bad, you know, or if it was, you know, she, she had also had that line about, you know, they might hate you, but generations to come will thank you for what you did, for having the strength to do what you did. And that sort of, but, but yeah, you know, it wasn't like she just, she was terrified of cleaning up teacups, you know, it, it wasn't like she never ever wanted to be in the kitchen, she just want, wanted more than only being in the kitchen and only taking care of children. She wanted a career, she was ambitious, and she actually made good on her ambitions. So, yeah, I, I don't... It seems like a weak ending to me. I, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. If, if you think that there was something in there that I'm completely missing, I am open to that possibility, you know, be sure to post it down below. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.